What's up, League Nighters? Welcome back to the channel. I want to do something a little different this week. We're actually going to go over a little bit of a product review. So, got to shout out my friend Heike, who uh, hooked me up with a pair of 44 custom batting gloves. So, I've never had anything by 44. She is a thank you to me for some lessons that I've been giving her. She got me some 44 batting gloves as well as a 44 fielding glove. So, That'll be coming up in the future, but today I wanted to go over kind of some initial reactions to these 44s. Never had them before. I've actually only just put them on. I've never actually used them batting yet, so I kind of wanted to give you kind of an initial reaction. I wanted to let you know what to expect right out of the box. Definitely high-grade soft leather on the back for sure. Got a nice textured surface on the inside, so again, going to be helping with grip and like that. Uh, one thing that's kind of cool, I've never had any gloves like this before, but it's actually got this, not only the wrist Velcro strap, but it's also got one that goes over the back of the hand, which is kind of neat. Kind of helps it just lock onto your hand a little better. A couple things to note here, now again, these are custom, so you can choose your colors. I uh, should be going over at the end of the video here. I'm gonna kind of just quickly walk through the online custom builders so and kind of get a sense of what it looks like. One thing's to note that neither Heike or I knew because she got a pair as well. But when you do get the coloration that you're gonna pick here on the backs of the fingers here, this is more of like a patent leather. So it's, uh, it's very shiny, so just know that. She had uh, pink on that color and it was a little bit too much for her. So uh, she did kind of paint it back blue, uh, but just be aware. Now on here, I've got black. It actually looks really great in the patent leather on black, but maybe not get too loud of a color for that. So that'd be my warning for you. In putting them on here, I thought at first I might get away with uh, not loosening that strap on the back of the hand, but you definitely have to get that on the back of the hand uh, open before you can actually get them on. I definitely recommend, from what I'm gathering here, to get a tight fit, you definitely want to put this back strap on first. Now, one thing I have noticed, again, not necessarily a knock because I feel like anytime I get a pair of batting gloves, they end up stretching out a little bit, especially through the middle of the hand. Uh, so just some initial reactions. Again, only having put these on one time in the past. Uh, feels a little tight through here. Not so uncomfortable tight, but tight enough as you can see. I can't quite get the Velcro pulled all the way to the, uh, I guess, the female end of the male end back on the, on the, the Velcro there. I imagine over time that's going to stretch out a bit and it's going to be fine, you'll be able to, it'll probably be nice to have a little extra room to pull them tighter. Uh, so again, just something to note there. These, I believe, are size large, which is pretty in line with what I normally get. I don't have huge hands, but for whatever reason, with baseball batting gloves, softball batting gloves, the, the large is what fits me. So I definitely don't have large hands. So I feel bad for anybody that's got like really actually large hands. You must have just fits trying to get uh, gloves big enough. Pretty comfortable, still brand new, a little bit tight. Not a bad tight though, not an uncomfortable tight. One thing I have noticed with some batting gloves I've tried in the past that felt maybe like they fit perfectly or like they weren't tight when I first, first got them. It's one thing I noticed that after using them for a week or so, again, the leather loosens up, softens up a bit, and then actually I get a little extra in here in between the fingers. And I've actually had it where, you know, I'll be swinging, I'll swing through, and just that one pinky, just the leather sticks a little bit, and if it's too loose, I'll actually almost pull my pinky out of the, the pinky hole of the glove. Uh, should not be a problem with these. Again, these are a nice, tight fit. The, again, middle of the fingers, the webbing in here actually goes all the way down uh, to the middle of my finger, so you don't have any of that extra, you know, like duck feet type of thing going on here. Uh, but again, quality overall, very cool. Love the customization of the colors. You can get, again, I got custom last name here. You can get a number, you can get whatever you want in there basically as long as it's within whatever length they allow. Uh, tons of opportunity for different combinations. Again, I got these, you probably saw in the last video, if you saw the last video, I got these to match up with our new LGH jerseys. Uh, the orange on here, which is the color that was gonna be the most uh, most important, I guess. It's actually really nice, it's vibrant, it's bright, it actually matches up with the jersey color almost perfectly. So I'm gonna be batting in style for sure when we uh, go to our next tournament next week. Looks great, feels great, really nice 
uh, elastic around the wrists as well. Uh, maybe harder to see because it's black, but you will notice that, again, these aren't pulled all the way across the Velcro either. But same thing, I imagine as I wear them for the next couple weeks or so that they're gonna stretch out and that's gonna come back more to uh, fully pulling over the Velcro. Uh, either way, that really at this point is just a cosmetic thing, just a little bit of a type A personality trait for me where if it doesn't line up like that, you know, you just wanna see it. You wanna see it look fitting perfectly. But again, I imagine over the next few weeks it's gonna, it's gonna get there. But again, overall, I would say initial reaction to these, great batting gloves. I wanna say they were somewhere like 40 bucks, 50 bucks, somewhere in that ballpark. So not the cheapest, uh, least expensive batting gloves you get, certainly not the most expensive. I would say these are worth the amount of money spent on them. Another thing I would say here too, only because I've had some experience with some really, really cheap gloves in the past, I won't name any brands, but some of them are pretty major brands where I would get them and again, I would, especially the Velcro, this is the one that stands out to me the most, pull it open and close it maybe 10, 20 times putting them on and the Velcro started failing immediately in some of the old gloves. These are definitely not gonna have that problem. Uh, very strong Velcro, super, super tight on there. Very secure, not gonna have to worry about that at all. Uh, also, I've had some in the past where they kind of just started wearing out in the palm really quickly, especially right in here on this part of my palm. That's where mine wear out the quickest. I think a lot of times it's, it's where the hands meet or on this one, it's where the glove meets the knob of the bat or the knob cuff. Not so bad now that I use a lot of knob cuffs, but these again, feel like very sturdy leather. I would not imagine we're gonna have any issue with these. Uh, one thing I notice here too, which I really like, it's hard to tell if it's actually two ply, but you can actually see, hopefully you can see, there's a little bit of a seam right here in the leather on the palms. And what it looks like is that there's a full layer all the way across, and then basically across the fingers and the palm here and inside your, uh, the space between your thumb and your forefinger, on both gloves, it looks like there's almost a second layer of leather there. So I'm expecting that to be very durable, to hold up for a long time, and to basically be my main batting gloves when I when I when I bat for our LGH team, especially because of the color combo um, for a long time. Just wanted to take a quick look at the custom builder here. You're gonna see there is a ton of color options and you can put those colors in a ton of different places on the gloves, which is really cool. Um, you'll notice there we've got a little bit of that spot where there's patent leather, so be aware that that's gonna be shiny there on those fingertips. Uh, also, you're gonna notice we've got a lot of really cool metallic colors, so you're gonna see golds, you're gonna see bronzes, you're gonna see silvers, that sort of thing. But what's really cool is just the absolute amazing amount of customizability you're seeing here. Literally every part of the glove, you're able to choose the color, choose the look. That way you can really customize it to either a team you play for or your favorite major league team or whatever you might want to do. Again, just a really, really great options here. And as far as I can tell, really great gloves. They're going to last a really long time. So my industry reaction, Really like them. I think they're gonna be good for a long time. Uh, definitely think you should pick them up, especially if you have somebody in your life who is baseball or softball player. Definitely pick some of these up. Could be really cool to mash them up with a team or even their favorite major league team or whatever it might be, get their name on them, that sort of thing. Uh, really, really cool. I think those are, uh, that'd be a great idea for a gift. Also wanted to point out that 44 doesn't have anything to do with this. Uh, these were purchased by my friend Heike as a gift for me. So this is my real reaction. These aren't, you know, I'm not being paid to say good things about them, uh, but I do really like the gloves. Again, just a few little things here and there, but those things might come out and fix themselves once they get broken in a little bit. Thank you for watching everyone. We really appreciate it. Depending on what platform you're watching us on, like, subscribe, leave us a comment. Anything you can do to let us know that you like what we're doing here. We really appreciate it. We'll see you next time.